In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to remove the clear plastic brawl that is put on a lot of higher end or newer vehicles or the plastic layer of protection that's put on the front bumper and the side view mirrors to protect the paint and then not only remove it, but also how to polish underneath it and kind of blend it with the rest of the car. Now let's get straight into it. What's up YouTube, this is Luke Wilson and welcome to the Wilson Auto Detailing YouTube channel. Now like I said before, today we're gonna be removing the clear protective plastic film that exists on a lot of the front bumpers and the hoods and even like the side view mirrors of the newer, maybe nicer higher end cars. And they put, manufacturers put this film, this clear bra on the cars because they wanna protect the paint that's most vulnerable to like rock chips, bug etchings, watermarks, and things like that. But what happens is over time that plastic ends up, because it's just like a sacrificial layer between the outside world and the paint, it ends up yellowing or it really gets scratched or it gets a lot of etching and just chips in it. So eventually it has to be removed and either you put another one on or you just remove it, remove the adhesive underneath that's still stuck on the paint and then polish the paint. And that's what I'm gonna be doing today. Number one, removing the clear plastic bra. Number two, removing the adhesive from the sticky underside that might still be stuck to the paint. And then number three, polishing it to level 10. So let me go ahead and show you guys this side view mirror that I'm working on right now and show you this clear plastic film that I'm talking about. So if you can see on this side view mirror, you have this little crease right here that you can see and I've actually pulled up the corner of it so you can see that it's almost like a sticker that you would peel off the back and put on something it's literally just stuck a piece of plastic that's stuck to the front side of this side view mirror because obviously this front side of the side view mirror it takes all the bugs it takes all the hits but if we can get in close you can see that this plastic ends up getting etched into with the bugs it ends up getting swirl marks and then what happens is the sacrificial layer that this provides end up, ends up looking so bad that you actually have to remove it um, in order to kind of get that black paint polished look again. So you remove it and then polish underneath it. And the process is actually very simple. So what I've got here with me is my Wagner heat gun. And what this is, is kind of like a blow dryer on steroids in that it can really harm you if you're putting your hand right in front of it. But it's like a blow dryer where it blows out hot air, but it also really, really just increases the temperature of that hot air so there's a gauge up here a digital gauge where you can kind of determine how hot you want that air to be but basically the only thing you have to do to remove these clear protective films or these clear bras is to use this heat gun to actually heat up the adhesive and that's that sticky underside ends up kind of heating up and you can literally just peel that plastic protective film off of the car's paint now if you're a beginner detailer obviously this might not be a service that you include in your world but as you get more experience this is definitely something that you can include because this is going to be like decal removals, um, logo removals, vinyl wrap removals, and things like this. So this is a great job to have because it's something that doesn't take a ton of time, but it definitely takes some skill and know-how in order to do it correctly, but it's also a high-paying job. So this is really just a win for everybody. The customer gets what they want. I get to do a high-paying job that doesn't take me all day because I've got the experience and the know-how to do it correctly. So once again, the process of actually removing this is really not that difficult. But here's a couple things that you need to keep in mind because this heat gun shoots out such hot air You actually risk burning and bubbling the paint So if I hold this hot air in one specific spot on the car's paint It'll actually bubble the paint and really ruin the mirror where you would have to replace it And so what I'm gonna be doing is moving this side to side so that the heat is not being concentrated in one specific area For too long and the only thing I'm trying to do is not really make this lava hot I just want it to heat up enough where I can begin to catch a corner of this plastic protective film so that I can catch the corner and begin to peel it off little by little. So here's what it looks like. So I keep actually feeling the paint as I'm putting this heat on the paint. I keep feeling for it because I don't want to heat up this paint too much so I want to be feeling to make sure I'm not like softening the paint as I'm doing this. Now this is kind of what you don't want to do, but I kind of did it on purpose just to show you guys. You don't really want to tear it off in pieces because then you might have to catch another edge and kind of restart your process. So you want to try to get it all in one piece. All right. 
right, there we go. So this is very normal in that you're going to have these strips of kind of adhesive pieces left behind, but this is what it looks like right after it's been removed. So you can see here this contrast. This part of the paint was not covered. So this part of the paint was not protected. And so you can see there's fading, there's weathering, whereas here it looks like new glossy paint because it's had this protective layer over it. And so that's one thing you have to talk to your customers about is that there's this contrast that's gonna happen if it's an older car like this Infiniti M35 because the rest of the paint has been weathered, it's been faded, it's been, you know, things like that but this paint has been totally protected, so this is gonna be like new showroom car shine. So the adhesive that gets left behind on things like these clear bra removal jobs is kind of a pain in the butt, and it's kind of like the same adhesive that is left behind when you are removing like decals. And so what I wanna do is use a product that's extremely strong that can remove the adhesive. Now this is a product called Rapid Remover, and it is literally an adhesive remover. So this will break down that adhesive very quickly, and it's a very, very effective product, and it's very, very safe for the car's paint. So I just kind of covered it in this rapid remover product. I'm gonna let it sit for just a second. Once again, it's safe for the paint. Give it a little bit of dwell time, give it a little bit of time to just kind of sit and break down this glue that's been sitting on there for so long. And then I'm just gonna lightly kind of help it along with my microfiber towel. So bam, there you go. I cannot say enough good things about this product, Rapid Remover. It just works like a charm, like it's so amazing. I'll definitely hook it up in the description box below if any of you guys wanna get your hands on it and buy it. It's just like, I think it's just a necessary product for any professional detailer. But you can see that all the adhesive is removed. There's nothing left here, but there is definitely still this contrast and you can see this cloudy, kind of hazy material or paint surface and this really glossy one. And so I'm going to have to go and polish this whole plastic rear view piece. Now the issue that you face is that no amount of polish is going to perfect that. And so if you don't communicate that with your customer, then there's gonna be a big issue because no amount of polish is going to be able to completely fix this rear view piece. But I'm gonna go ahead, pull out my Griot's Garage uh, random orbital du dual action polisher. I'm gonna use some Meguiar's 105, I'm gonna use some Meguiar's 205, and then I might follow up with a sealant, and I'll bring you guys in for the finished look so you guys can see the before and after of this really cloudy, hazy piece with the stark contrast between the glossy and the hazy piece, and we can see how well that polish really blends it together. All right, everyone, here is the finished look. I just polished this with Meguiar's 105 and finished with Meguiar's 205, and check that out that actually I was not expecting it to look that good. I actually in person cannot even see where the contrast is between where the clear bra was sitting and where it was not sitting. There's actually zero contrast whatsoever. It's completely blended together, completely uh, kind of brought back to that new condition, and there's zero contrast whatsoever between where the clear uh, protective layer was and where it wasn't, so that's pretty awesome. So everyone, it really is that simple to remove the clear plastic bra or the clear plastic protective uh, car paint protection layer. It's really that simple. It's not that difficult. Um, once again, the tools I used are the Wagner heat gun. I used the uh, Griot's Garage 6-inch random, random orbital and Meguiar's 105 and 205. Now this Wagner's heat gun is a very, very awesome tool because not only is it, it's like $40, right? But I use this to remove decals. I use this to remove vinyl wraps. I use this to remove the clear bra. I use it to remove the little uh, car emblems, you know, Toyota Corolla that are stuck on the back of cars. I use this to remove all that stuff. It was maybe 40 bucks, so I definitely suggest this product to any, this tool to any like pro detailer out there. If you don't have this heat gun, it's really, really versatile, really amazing, and very economical. So I'll definitely hook this up in the description box below. Not to mention, if you guys don't have your hands already as a pro detailer on the Griot's Garage six inch random orbital, then you are making a mistake and you need to get one of these, I'll definitely come out with a video of uh, like a review of this product specifically, but it's one of the best buffers, the best polishers I own. I think it's awesome. I use it for like 95% of my jobs, and so I'll definitely hook this up in the description box below as well. Take you straight to Amazon if you want to buy this product. Now lastly, the three products I used, the two polishes were M105, Meguiar's 105, and Meguiar's 205, and then this rapid remover product, I actually buy it in the gallon size, but I just keep filling up this bottle. Helps me understand which one it is when I'm grabbing 
shopping for it. But this Rapid Remover product is an adhesive remover. It's kind of expensive. It's about $60 a gallon, but it is one of the best products I own. And as a professional detailer, I don't think that you can kind of go without this product. I think this is one of the main necessities, like I would call an all-purpose cleaner. Like this is just a fundamental necessity. It's so amazing at removing grease, grime, road tar, but also in situations like this when I'm removing adhesive from cars. It's just an incredible product. If you guys would like to buy any of these tools or products, definitely just check out the description box below this video. The links will take you straight to Amazon. And of course, if you use my links, it gives me a very small commission and very, very small, but it helps this channel stay alive and it helps me continue to put out good value and content for you pro detailers. Now, of course, everybody, thanks so much for watching. If you're new to the Wilson Auto Detailing community, then definitely consider subscribing because I come out with daily videos just like this for the pro detailers and the car enthusiasts alike on products, tools, and strategies to use, but also things like communication skills, business skills, and all sorts of stuff like that, all regarding the detailing world. And then if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments or concerns, make sure to ask me or link those up in the comments section. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. And as always, from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, I'll see you guys in the next video.